Have you two come up with anything yet? I'm getting heat you wouldn't believe. And I don't know what kind of conditions this woman's being kept under. Now get your butts into high gear now. Heading back to headquarters, over. Copy that, D-52. Ah, Detective. I was just grousing about you. You know Detective Night Sky here. Detective? Uh, this won't take very long. Go after the wife. Uh, Night Sky, tell them about that gadget you got there, that PDA, personal digital... Assistant. We've been using these in the field. They're great. The chief or the lab can beep us 24 hours a day. Uh, I, I, I got. Okay, okay. If you can't figure it out, you just push the help button. Now, fortunately, gadgets are not going to solve this case for us. Now, you got five days, detectives. Count them. Five. I've already heard from the suits at the Bureau, and they got about as much confidence in me as I got in you. So your job is to prove us both wrong. All right? Now, go out there. Give them hell.
<laughs> Free Tibet. One of Randy's wacko artist friends, her invite, not mine. And things were going along fine until Andrew Grissom showed up. Another guest? Hardly. Andrew Grissom is a disgruntled investor. We met at the Arroyo Club. <clears throat> I'm afraid to say that their standards are not what they used to be. Anyway, Andrew invested in Tasker Industries, misplayed his hand, and now he blames me for it. Can you think of anyone who might have wanted to hurt your wife, or you for that matter? <laughs> Business I'm in, detective, you make enemies like drunks make water. But Randa, no. Everyone loved her. What about the arson incident at her leather goods store? Could there be a connection? God only knows. And your own enemies? No secret that a bunch of blowhards are up in arms about the Seven Arrows deal. Blowhards? Is that another way of saying Native Americans? Now that's a crock. I have given more work to the Native American than anyone else in Santa Fe. No, no, I, I'm talking about that, uh... Your name and occupation, please? Manuel Oroso. Uh, for the last five years, I've been Senor Tasca's manservant. Tell us about last night. Last night? I was in my room uh, watching television. It was around 11.30 when the movie was almost over and Senor and Senor Tosca came in. I went to them and asked them if there was anything that I could do for them and they said no, that they would see me in the morning. Then they began to argue. I couldn't understand the words, but it was very loud. The gate, the gate was open. Was that unusual? See, Senor Tosca was very afraid of intruders, so he always made sure the gate was locked. Who has keys to the gate? Well, I do. And Senora Tosca and Senor Tosca, of course, and, and, and Dr. McClafferty, in case of an emergency. How many dogs are out in the kennel area? <laughs> Two, very loud. So I noticed. Were they barking last night? Last night? Not that I recall. If there had been an intruder, wouldn't they have barked? Not necessarily. Sometimes they bark, and sometimes they don't. They're not really watchdogs, senor. D-52. We're on our way to see Thomas McClafferty. Over. Okay, D-52, copy. Is there any news on Randa? Nothing so far. We're talking to everyone who might help us. Naturally, I'll do what I can. If you'd be good enough to give us your name and occupation for the record. Thomas McClafferty. I am a doctor in private practice here on Old Santa Fe Trail. You've been Martin Tasker's personal physician for how long? Have you two come up with anything yet? I'm getting heat you wouldn't believe. And I don't know what kind of conditions this woman's being kept under. Now get your butts into high gear now. D-52, heading to White Buffalo. Over. 
fire's cause was definitely suspicious. The SFPD notified the downtown fire department after receiving reports of smoke in the White Buffalo from the cafe down the street. The report shows that the disposal of rags soaked in quicklime, glycerin, and potassium permanganate caused a fire, which oxidized and combusts spontaneously. Also, the sprinklers didn't initially work because the water in the building was turned off. Supposedly, the plumbing had to be fixed. The damage to the building was substantial. Telephone lines, the walls, and ceiling. The insurance company representatives examined the damage yesterday, and they plan to continue today.